I'm going to show you how to build an app using only AI on the base 44 program. This uses no coding experience whatsoever. Let's get right into it. This is the base 44 homepage. Make sure you use the link in my description to make sure you're using the right software. These are the different payment packages. There's free starter builder pro elite. Uh, I used the starter package, but I did a month to month. So I was paying $20 a month. If you want to be able to export the code and use the code at the back end, you're going to need to use builder. Uh, but the starter gives you hundred monthly credits as well as uh, unlimited different applications you can create. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start in ChatGPT or another large language model, and you want to tell it to write the prompt for you. You don't want to just add in a uh, write and you want to tell it to write the prompt for you. This is going to give you a much more detailed response and I believe a much better starting point and a way better program. Usually with artificial intelligence, it's much better to use other large language models to give you the prompt instead of writing yourself. So here's the prompt that it created. I asked it to create an antique marketplace. Uh, I wanted the marketplace to be luxurious feeling, modern, and that's the prompt. So I copy and paste that prompt. I put it into base 44 and we go generate and it's going to start the conversation. It shows you on the left-hand side, all the different things that it's doing, editing user entity, editing antique entity. It goes through this process. It takes a couple minutes. I think this took about three to five minutes for it to create the app. Click on the link in my description. It does help me out. It helps the channel out a lot if you use that link. So it created Heirloom, a luxury antique marketplace with AI powered search, sophisticated design, image upload functionality, user profile messaging system. And here we go. This is it. This is the web page. that quick, that easy to start basically whatever application you want to build. This is the marketplace. This is the home page. They created the name heirloom. I think it's actually pretty great. That logo they found is pretty great. So then here, if we click on the cell tab, we're able to take an image. We can upload that image into the marketplace onto our listings. As you go with base 44, certain things are going to work. Certain things aren't going to work. And then you can tell it to fix it here. It gave us all the different categories we wanted. So then, so I noticed that the tabs in my dashboard in my store were not clickable. So I wrote here, I want the tabs in my store to be clickable. I want the thumbnail of the photo to show in my store as well as when it's up uploaded. Include views, shares, and favorites to the analytics and each item. So let's see what it does here. So it shows us here in my dashboard. Now we have total revenue, we have total views, we have total favorites, we have active listings. They're also now clickable. If you want to see the mobile view, you click here and this will show you what it'll look like on phone or tablet. So we go to publish and then run security scan. There's these different things, antique, restricted. These are the data entities. I said restrict. It just recommended this to be honest. I'm not exactly sure what all these are, but then if you want to look deeper behind the hood, you want to look at the code, you want to look at the data, you go to dashboard and this will show you your analytics. It's going to show you the domains. There's your code. There's your APIs. Um, but also if you want to export the code and use it in the back end, you are going to need to pay for the builder tier.